Students at IIT Madras have designed their first electric formula racing car and we come to you from IIT Madras. In fact, the team Rafta who designed this, they're joining us and this is the vehicle they've designed and if everything goes well in the month of January, this car will be participating in the national level competition and then in August, they'll be competing in the international competition uh, in Germany. Thank you very much. Congrats uh, for all, all of you. And in terms of performance, what's so special about this? Um, with respect to our previous car, this car is three times as powerful. We used to run with a 33 kilowatt engine, which transformed into a 109 kilowatt motor. Other than that, the entire car itself is designed for acceleration. Electric offers you much larger acceleration times than your combustion car does. So we, I'm sure, we're sure that we'll exceed the dynamic performance of our previous cars. Give us the difference compared to a combustion vehicle. So primarily, as he mentioned, the, the, the biggest difference would be in terms of acceleration. This, the, 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 the overall power output of this car itself is a lot higher than what any combustion vehicle sees. And we have, we have the entire, entire battery management system and a battery pack custom designed for this vehicle, which, which is completely different from what a combustion vehicle usually carries. Take us through this process. Testing or designing. Yes. So for our testing, so our design started by first identifying the issues faced by the current EV industry. So one major example would be a frequent battery fires. So we made sure to make our battery pack modular and we designed a robust cooling system to ensure that even under the high loads of power and voltage that our uh, motor requires, the batteries still don't overheat. So once uh, once the design phase is done, we start procuring these components for which we get support from various sponsors and then we manufacture most of these components, a lot of which are manufactured in-house. So for example, the battery pack does not come ready-made. We buy the cells and then bolt them together ourselves to make individual modules which we then put together in the accumulator. After which, and after the manufacturing and assembly phase is over, we start testing. So the people who drive the car are our own student drivers, members of the team itself. And we test in various spots around uh, the Institute IIT Madras and in testing tracks given to us by Breaks India in Padi and Polambakkam. How many students were part of this team and are they all from automotive engineering? Uh, so we have uh, a 45 member plus member uh, team currently and uh, they are from various disciplines of engineering which is offered by the college. So we have people from mechanical engineering, mm -hmm. electrical engineering, uh, aerospace, civil, etc. And uh, so all the uh, engineers are irrespective of the branch are uh, specifically separated into chassis and powertrain chassis uh, relates to the mechanical components of the car and powertrain relates to the battery pack and the other uh, aspects of uh, electrical aspects of the car so all of the juniors as soon as they join the team uh, knowledge transfer happens from the seniors to the juniors so that they get to understand what is the role in uh, what is their role in the team and what are the, what are the technical skills they require to actually design the car and the design flow starts give us some information about the cost and who's funding this so uh, major majority of the funding is done via sponsors and it's done in kind and they also help us in financial aspects and such so uh, helping procuring many of the components we do approach the sponsors initially and uh, they do help how us. much it cost you uh, cost is of around uh, total of around we can't say exactly but it's close to 30 to 40 lakhs in how important is participating in these global competitions and what would willing this would mean so we are designing this entire car uh, to improve the engineering aspects of uh, EV industry and uh, in the future the driverless industry. Now when we are doing this, uh, these competitions at the regular intervals help us to validate our design. So we go into the competitions, com compete with the, all the top international teams and the performance uh, gives us a, a metric to judge us how well we have designed things and uh, where we can improve. If you can come forward, now many would say should the, shouldn't the focus be on developing or improving technology for a domestic market first, which large number of people use in terms of electric vehicles? Uh, we push the car, the technology to its limits. We find out what is there an extra mile we can go uh, to uh, and discover that technology that ca which can later be adapted to a, for a commercial purpose. Uh, the technologies that we explore in the engineering of this entire car can is easily translatable to commercial vehicles. Our long-term goal is to eff eff effectively go driverless. So our, the, the competition that we participate in also has a driverless category. So in the future, we'll be making a driverless race car. The reaction times of which will be significantly higher than that of a passenger driverless car. So if we perfect the technology of having driverless racing, it'll be very easy to translate that into driverless passenger cars. Team Rafter talking to us.
Joining us now, Professor Kama Kodi, the director of IIT Madras. Uh, Professor, thank you very much for your time. What would this mean in terms of futuristic development? Yeah, this means so many things for the future. Number one, uh, IIT Madras is now developing a vehicle. Our first goal would be the immediate future is going to be Formula Bharat. We want to win that. Then we go to Formula Germany. We also want to win that. And we want to give the best energy efficient car. So there are multiple parameters in which a uh, uh, race car would be tested. And we, from an electric race car point of view, we would like to be number one in that. And people are working. As you see, uh, uh, 10 departments, 45 students, 20 different faculty are putting their uh, uh, full bet on this type of a vehicle. This is number one. Number two is that always, today combustion engine cars are inspired by the old age uh, combustion engine cars. So Ferrari engines that were used earlier, are today many of those patent technologies are used in modern day engines. We also believe that the systems that we develop as a part of this EV will essentially go into commercial passenger cars and that will be a big learning. A very simple example that has been always uh, quoted is uh, batteries are burning today. Right. Why they are burning? Because of the proper uh, imp uh, problems in the battery management and pro uh, uh, problems in the thermal management. Now if we test these uh, uh, systems in a 160 km speed car for 30 minutes together on a racetrack fully sunshine, I think that uh, battery management system will be perfect and put it into a passenger car. I think we are going to solve the problem of that. So these are some insights that we are getting. In that sense, uh, you don't have to begin first focusing on domestic vehicles. Yes. All that we learn in this Raftar car, which essentially will go back to the domestic vehicle because we have stress tested it at 160 kilometers per hour, <laughs> okay, <laughs> right on a very hot track. I think that will go there. Uh, whatever we do on the, it is something like I fly a plane, I have an engine and I put it in a tractor, it's also automatically it works. Also, Professor, there is, uh, well, we talk so much about electric vehicles. There are also concerns expressed about how mining of lithium or cobalt could lead to actually more emissions. Uh, how would you look at that? Yeah, so, see, more than, yes, uh, when we start using the natural resources, today we say oil is a fuel, fossil fuel, tomorrow lithium also will become like a fossil fuel, right? So, that is one thing. So. Uh, that is one bigger point and today lithium is not available in India and, and we are we are dependent. So there are things that are depend, uh, that we are trying to look at is uh, 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 as for the battery technology we are looking at zinc also which is uh, ab available in abundance. In addition we are also having a full consortium of what you call as a energy systems. We have 50 faculty, 350 students working on it and we are also looking at things like bioethanol. So, uh, IIT Tripathi has uh, a very strong company, uh, startup company working on bioethanol protection. We are now working with them to develop a multi-fuel engine, okay. right, which will work on diesel, which will work on petrol and also bioethanol. By changing a plug, I can go from one fuel to another fuel. And that will feed a small battery and as a buffer battery and that will run the whole uh, system. And we are trying to run a bus with that, right. The bus is a big one, right. So, so. So these type of hybrid vehicles, which use non-fossil things, like it, I use bio-waste, agricultural waste. Every year, the uh, agricultural remains will come and we can keep uh, making it. So these are some of the ways by which we are looking at this whole problem. Briefly, how was the Hyperloop iPod status after you got LNT's uh, support? Yeah, we got railway support also. Right, yes. right now, uh, LNT is also, so, uh, uh, TIE has also Tubes India has uh, supported it. So we are now in the process of uh, setting up our 550 meter track at our discovery campus. Uh, my ambition is uh, uh, is to have uh, international competition, the first of its kind in Asia uh, uh, within the next one year. So the, the, the tubes, the vacuum tubes are well tested now. Pod design is uh, in a very advanced stage and uh, this is going off well. Thank you so much, Professor, you, for your time. You. That was Professor Kamakudi, the IIT Madras director, talking to us in Chennai. Sam Daniel, Finder TV.